Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, I was not feeling ill as I currently do. My throat is acting up a bit, but we should be focusing on making the Mind Arc, which, as I recall, I needed a Living Pearl for the Soul Engine, because I already have the Cadmium to do it. And once I get the soul engine, I get the mind arc pretty easily. So I had flew around the planet a little bit until I eventually reached an ocean. Took a while, but I eventually got there. And now... I'm just going to find a little bit of oxygen off of that. And then go into this little bit of ocean here, which should, in theory... Allow me to find a living pearl. Also, I'm getting plants scanned without even really trying to. Which is, you know, extra fun. Okay, I've gotten that already. I've gotten this already. And I think the cover is almost over here. Alright. Now the trick will be actually finding what I'm looking for. Alright, we got materials, we've got fish, we've got other things. I don't know what that is out there. I have no idea what that thing swimming around is. But it's apparently small. Okay, now I've got most everything scanned. That is scannable. Anyway. And now, let's see. If I can hunt down a living pearl. Fortunately, it looks like this little segment is not deep enough. Which kind of puts a damper on the whole trying to find a living pearl thing. But I am getting good scans. There's that at least. Oh, come on, my oxygen levels aren't that bad. Alright, well, let's surface a little bit then. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to think this won't be deep enough. To a lot. Wait. <laughs> Never mind. I have found them. And I don't need the mining beam because the pulse spitter will work just as well. And pick up a living pearl. There we go. I'm going to pick up several since I'm down here already. There we go. What did that have? Sulfurine. I kind of need sulfurine. <laughs> so I might as well. Whoops. Didn't mean to hurt the fish. Sorry, fish. Didn't think you would get that close. This is primarily salt, which makes sense. Well, then wouldn't it be a good idea for me to be inside the water? <laughs> Avoid the storm, as it were. Okay. Alrighty. The sulfurine is a useful component, so that's why I'm trying to get some of it. Cytophosphates, not so much. But, uh, still use it, I guess. Alright. This... Okay, this isn't it. its own plant, but the bigger version is. And the bigger version has star bulbs. Okay. Alright. Well, I might as well just swim on over to where my ship is. I was going to say car. <laughs> Caught myself before I said that. But, uh... Honestly, doesn't it work a little bit? It's basically my car. Alrighty. I'm going to 
different region. All right. Hey, there we go. See? Chlorine and dihydrogen. Hmm. I don't know if I need chlorine all that much, but hey. All right. Yeah, I figured. Going right into the storm. Lightning, though. That's always nice. Okay. Let's head on back to my ship. And... Get out of here. Or at the very least, get out of the storm. There we go. Much better. Alright. That was not what I meant to do. <laughs> at all. Whoops. Uh, what I meant to do... Uh, <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Oh, boy. A ongoing story of my life. Uh, living Pearl, I guess I can put that here? Sure, yeah, why not? Then put this over here. Yeah, much better. I'm not sure if that's much better, but it's something at least. Um, and now I make... That, again, I hit the wrong button. Oi. I make the soul engine to then make the mind arc. And it is now complete. Assemble the mind arc components and... Bring the mind arc to Artemis. Return to the Hollow Terminus to speak to Artemis. Which was right over... How far away was it again? <laughs> Wait. Okay. Alright. Well. Flying-wise, it should be a little easier, but not by much. Yeah, it's got like a couple of minutes. It's not that bad. It's not that bad a trip. Yay! And the storm's clearing. Fantastic. There's my frigate in low orbit. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to check on uh, my expeditions. Something I'll do later. But for now, it's a quick ride over to the Hollow Terminus. Actually, it's not going to be that quick. Might as well just fast forward this. I'll see y'all on the other side. Huh? And there we are. Back once again. And just a quick land. Oh, there I was about to say. Where's my landing area? It's right there. And down we gently land. Ta-da. Beautiful. Alright, I think I should be able to make that with my jetpack. I think... Maybe? Ooh, ooh, but hey, I did it. Booyah. Told you my jetpack could do it. I've gotten it big and strong. Strong. Uh. Alrighty. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter. Yep, tune in to Artemis. Signal match detected. Whee! Hey. Maybe this will work. Use the mind arc. Well, comfort Artemis first. I attempt to comfort Artemis, telling them that everything will be alright. They turn to me with a wild look of panic, clearly not expecting my voice. Who is that? Who... Just... Identify yourself. I tell Artemis I am their friend, that I could not find them without the portal, but that I found a way to restore them. I didn't... I didn't... Think you would come back. You never gave... Up, did you? All these years. Years? What do you mean? I've... I've been here for 20 years. 
waiting for you to... I'm sorry, years. I'm sorry, years? You were going to find my star chart, weren't... You will be safe soon. Who's that? Who... Who's there? Artemis repeats their words again. Our conversation all but forgotten. They stare at me, their eyes pained, their mind trapped in an endless loop. They appear to have spent 20 years in this pseudo-death, haunted by loneliness and fear. If the stranger's device works, perhaps I can help Artemis move on. Here's hoping that it does. 20 years in, like, a pseudo-death. Ugh. It's basically purgatory. Oh, Jesus. I feel so bad for Artemis. Oh, man. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what to expect. Some show of light and fury, some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flesh restored to life before my eyes but it is not to be one moment I see their hologram and the next there is nothing the stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over their signal still active oh well hi what the <laughs> hello didn't expect that but hello null once again Travelers are a dream, an idea that we had some special place in this universe. Artemis had it. You had it. Apollo, too, though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend, walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone, not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass, or the aerons, or the progenitors. It is that final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friends wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Okay, a copy of Artemis has been stored in the Mind Arc. Which means I need to bring Artemis to Nada. Okay. And time to slowly descend onto my ship and get out of here. Whee. And I guess now I head into space to summon the anomaly. But, uh, first things first. Oh! There's my capital ship. I'll fly over to it. it. Looks like my fleet is back. Good. Alright. Whoop. Didn't mean to slow down that much. Alright. Now, I spin round to then... Whoops. Not that. There we go. Some of the space enough. I can't do it from here? Why can't I do it from here? That's shenanigans. Oh, I see. I have to do it from far above orbit. I see. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Still. 
heading back to my capital ship first because I want to see what I may have gotten out of that uh, expedition. be dealing with it soon enough. Hey, other ships are landing in my frigate. And that one kind of looks cool. Not sure if it's cool enough to justify buying it, but well, that's assuming I have enough money to buy it in the first place, but still. Hmm. Yeah, nah. Oh! Oh, this one looks cool, though. It's basically a land yacht version of my ship. It's basically the Lincoln version of my ship. I want to see. I want to see if it's even possible. Negotiate price. Let's see. I could buy it outright. I do have the money. Um doesn't have a lot. You know, no. It's not worth it. Cool as it looks, it's just not worth it just to buy it outright. Oops, I missed stairs entirely. Whoopsie. Alright. It does look freaking cool, though. Wait, it's late enough in the episode. I can swear. It's fucking cool. <laughs> Why is my torch still on? That's weird. It's an ongoing issue. There we go. Much better. My ship isn't that... dark. <laughs> At least I don't think it is. Alright. Uh, let's talk to the farmer, because I'm pretty sure I can do their thing now. Pretty sure, anyway. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. It's solar vine. Cause I'm sure it's the selenium I needed for the farmer. Which reminds me, I need to go to the log. And enable that mission. Whoopsie doodle. Uh, there we go. So that way I can actually give. There we go. You have successfully cultivated solar vine, yes? I can smell its heat from here. It's incandescent splendor. It took me a while to get to the voice. But I got there. Wonderful. Savor this moment, friend. For now I lead you into a more dangerous realm of botanical study. Dangerous? Oh. That's what you mean. Fungal cluster. Alright. I can do that. Fungal clusters are cultivated within toxic environments, but you have proved you can master much, yes? Be careful as you work, friend. Clusters have been known to cause illness and hallucination if improperly handled. Extended exposure is ill-advised. Okay, I can do that. Wonderful. While you prepare the fungal clusters... Fungal clusters, I can talk. Really, I can't. I will check our ventilation systems. One can have too much of a good thing. I mean, true. Why does my torch keep turning on? Stop it! I don't need you to keep turning on. Oh, I guess I can put them here. I don't see why not. Alright. Oh, I don't have enough ammonia. <laughs> Are you for real? I don't have enough ammonia. Come on. I could swear I had plenty. I guess I was wrong, but you're kidding. You're kidding. Oh, come on. Well, I guess I'm going to have to get more if I want to grow more of them. That's annoying. But I at least had enough for one. That's the important part. All right, now that that's done... Uh, Lurg. Expeditions. That's what I was looking into. The expeditions. Which was there. I was going to eventually move them over there, but they're here. 
Fleet Command. Okay. Debrief the commander. Let's see what they got. A lot of units, a lot of units, a lot of units. Corvax Convergence Cube. Teodesite. A lot of units. Activated Emerald. A lot of units. Storage Augmentation. Nitrogen Salt. Magnetized Ferrite. A lot of units, a lot of units. Albumin Pearl. Semiconductor. Okay, dirty bronze, okay. A lot of units, a lot of units, and we're good. Look at all that. Look at all that, and my torch turned on again. God damn it. Almost three million fucking credits, holy shit. <laughs> nearly have four million holy hell all right uh i'm putting these away <laughs> wow wow okay uh whoops that's the wrong button what i wanted to do was go here with it there we go much better uh uh yep goes right there sulfurine you go... I don't know where to put you. <laughs> I have no idea where to put you. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, there you are. That's where you're at. Okay, that makes sense. And cytophosphates. That should go here. I think. Yeah. Yeah, along with salt and chlorine. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That sounds good to me. And activated emerald will go here. Good. Uh, do helps if I hit the wrong, the right buttons, rather, for the things I want to do. Nitrogen and salt goes there. And storage augmentation is for my ship, so that will go here. And this goes here, and semiconductor goes here, and where else should everything else go? That goes in the exosuit. This gets sold. I guess I can also put that in the exosuit to do that. And dirty bronze goes here. Ta-da! Oh, if only I could make <laughs> geodesite off of all of that. I will eventually. I will. Just not quite there yet. Okay, so. That mine, where is my? There it is. My galactic trade terminal. I can sell all of my crap I don't need, which is all these albumin pearls here. For sure. And. That. Not that. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good, 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 good. Now I can... I keep hitting that button on accident. Now we can do a new expedition. And whoa. <laughs> Some of these are massive. Wow. Okay. Uh, balance expedition here. I can easily put all of my ships in for that. No problem. Be nice if I had a support one, but unfortunately I don't yet. But this should be fine. Yeah, this should be just fine. Just fine. Easily make that go. Fantastic. Why does the torch keep turning on? Alright. Harvest fungal mold. I'll get to that eventually. Now that I've finished maintaining my frigate and all of the other stuff therein, it's time for me to move on. Artemis. By visiting Nada. Whoop! Ha ha! 
little faster than the uh, animation wanted me to be. That was weird. It was very weird. Okay. Let me get out of here. Hmm. Sometimes just... Wait a minute. This ship just looks like mine, but in blue. It basically is. Basically is mine, but in blue. Now the back end is the same. Yeah, it is. It is exactly my ship, but in blue. Interesting. Well... At least that's nice to know. Some ships are just... different color schemes of the same design, especially if you like said design. Alrighty. And... Why am I here? It's a good question. I don't have an answer for. So, we go to Nada. I have no idea what your name is. Apparently two symbols that won't show up. That's what it is. Okay. Friend entity. Apollo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete? Not fading? Not as visor light flares. Burning with concern and distress. Reassure them. I tell Nada uh, that I am well. My condition has not changed since I emerged from the portal. Nada relaxes, but a question still hangs in the air. I tell them about Artemis, about Null, and about the Mind Arc. The vessel glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I, I never thought to see a traveler soul. You are so beautiful. But friend entity... This Artemis Echo is in pain. Disconnected. This Ark is no rescue. What do you mean? Artemis Echo will never have body again. We'll never explore again. Old life gone. But we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not machine. It is something living. A refuge. There is a choice. You may upload... Artemis Echo to machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. What do you mean, the sub-simulation? I ask what life would be like inside of the simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced, but if they should learn their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, Unable to meet their friends. Such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose. Upload them to machine, to sub-simulation, where they may live on. Or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Isn't there another way? Nada shakes their head strangely, trying to adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciated, if disconcerting. You must choose. Okay. <sighs> Jesus. So it's either choose that they finally have peace, or put them in a simulation where they basically experience everything again. Just not real. I guess I've decided. Go and speak with Paulo, Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines, no matter your decision. Whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are Traveler Friend. I mean, I'm not sure if I feel that right now, but okay. 
Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you, no matter the choice. I will prepare. <laughs> Let me try that again. I will prepare the machine. It is not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Okay. Um, not sure what to think, but all right. I thought that was the door. I guess it wasn't the door. But it is that direction. I keep hitting that button when I mean to sprint every freaking time. Every goddamn time. Oh. 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 Is this where we're supposed to go? Um. Corvax Simulation Terminal. The machine is ancient and powerful. A relic of a long... <laughs> a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper, not as faint hum over the speaker. As they commune with the machine, the words on panel unscramble themselves. Nada entity authorization detected. Secondary simulation 5, right enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system. A prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, so dear to Nada. It will act as a home for Artemis, should I wish it. Huh. A singular solar system. I mean, I've come this far to try to help Artemis. The least I can do is give him another shot. Even if it is just a simulation. I upload Artemis to the simulation. A spark of blue light blazing through the air before me. It fades after a moment, disappearing into the depths of the machine. Nada tells me that it is done. For my sake, they will permit transmissions to and from the simulation, at least while the anomaly passes through safe systems. They warn me that Artemis will need some time to grow adjusted to their new life. So I can at least talk to Artemis in here. Hmm. Well, that's good at least. Well, before I blow some of my uh, salvage data. Or at least see if there's some things I can get. Artemis Echo will live on. Traveler took them from corruption and restored them to a life of exploration. To see a solar system that none but Korvax have ever witnessed. You have done well, Traveler. I mean, I don't feel like it, but okay. Don't worry, friend. We will take good care of Artemis Simulation. The souls of your allies are safe with us. Okay, that's a weird phrase, but okay. Hey, this time I hit the right button without hitting the wrong one. 
Yay. All right. Mm. What should I get? I have 20. Well, that's pretty good. Alternative landing pad. A stable reinforced landing pad for starships. As opposed to the normal landing pad? Hmm. This one just requires carbon, and it doesn't require nearly the amount of uh, requirements that the normal landing pad has. Well, I mean, if that's the case, then hell, why not? <laughs> Especially if it costs so little. At that point, I'd just be a fool not to do that. Huh. Interesting. I already have the roamer. I don't want to do much more with that. Square deep underwater chamber. Some of these do look cool, but I don't want to put salvage data in these until I have everything else squared away. A mineral extractor. Supply deep. Hmm. And then a supply pipe. Electrical cloaking unit. Constructing the electrical cloaking unit within a powered base will reduce the visual prominence of all local electrical wiring. Hidden wires will continue to supply electricity, provided they are sufficiently powered. So I can just make wires disappear if they look bad? Well hell. Why not? There we go. That looks good. Uh, I kind of want to get these, but I don't have enough data to get everything. So I'm sure I'll need the supply pipe before the supply depot. glass panel. Well, let me might as well get that. The Biodome. Attractive domed room which is perfect for cultivating a wide range, a range of botanical matter. So I can just make a... Hmm. I can make like a little farm area while I'm making bases. Interesting. Interesting. Curved corridor. I don't see why I wouldn't do that. Foundation, I might as well do that. I don't know about all this, but. Is there anything? Message module. Mm, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that. Huh. Special construction module fashioned entirely from light emitting panels. Hmm. Can be used to construct walls of light. Well, if it can be recolored afterwards, I don't see why not. Huh. Sphere creator? What does that even mean? We'll create a large sphere ready for whatever experiments are deemed necessary. What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm not sure I'm willing to spend data to find out what it means. Hmm. I think it's good enough. I think I've spent enough. I'll build up more to buy, especially stuff for that supply depot and mineral extractor and all of that. 
definitely want to look into what that is. Egg sequencer. So if I got an egg... Wait. Do I have... I do have companions. Whoa! I forgot you were massive. As were you. You... I don't know who you are, sorry. <laughs> That's a first. I'm sorry, I just don't know who you are. Okay, well, anyway, before I was so in so rudely interrupted, are you just... Oh, wait, you were the offspring of Pita. Weren't you? Yeah. Look at you! You can't see. I don't have any treats to give you. Uh, not in native climate, so you need to be in your native climate. Okay. Wait, I... Oh, you are! I was right. Okay. Pita... Maruizo. Maruizo has a higher level of trust with me than their parent. Same levels of playfulness, gentleness, and independence. Huh. Interesting. Man, you big. <laughs> you were so big. So happy. So happy. Alright. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode for today. I think I have done plenty as it is. That is a look. <laughs> what the hell is this? What the hell is this? That's a look. Alright. Time to get out of here, I think. Wow, that's a decent looking shit. Anyway, I'm getting out of here. It's been a long enough episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos. And if you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so you can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Are you receiving the hollow terminus is showing available again your signal was thought you were gone it is a relief to hear apollo again it feels like we have not spoken in a long time explain I try to recount the experience to apollo as best i can the gateway the strange planet a vast machine the crimson orb as i talk i realize the memories themselves are unstable that i cannot form them in my mind it's just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the Atlas itself. You... You saw it. You met the Atlas. The Gek, the Corvax, they worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought... Are you alright? I can't imagine what you've gone through. It was a thing, I'll tell you that much. I don't know if I'd say terrifying, but it was trippy. I tell Apollo of the things the Atlas said, how it spoke of travelers and sentinels as if we were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me. I felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm you. And I think... I think there's something in what you've just said. The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of this Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel nest. We'll be rich before we know it. There are more important things. I mean, money is not really what we're needing here. I suggest we have bigger things to worry about. The Atlas felt hostile inexplicable in its motives and purpose, not to mention all that has happened since. I tell Apollo of Artemis's grave and my encounter with the mysterious traveler Null. 
I suggest there is more going on here than an opportunity to earn units. Artemis is dead? I... I don't... How? Who would... I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared, they believed, and I... What's happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye, if I can. Tell them of my choice. I tell Apollo that Null gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them to a form of life. Apollo is initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explain the nature of what I did. I tell them that Artemis's soul lives on only within a simulation, unable to go beyond. Ask if this was right. It is a long time before Apollo speaks again. Will they be happy? I hope so. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. You just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith. Search for patterns in the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. Okay. Well, that kind of put a uh, damper on my outro, but uh, that was probably necessary to have that conversation. So, uh, since I already did the gist of my outro, um, hmm, huh, <laughs> I'm unsure what to do, hmm. I'll just do it over again. Why not, right? Thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to help Artemis as best I can. Only to find out that my choice wasn't exactly all that clear. And that I either had to just kill him outright and end his suffering. Or let him live on in a simulation of him constantly exploring a singular solar system in a simulation forever. Uh, hopefully Nada is able to make it interesting for at Artemis, and uh, here's hoping that uh, it was the best choice. Well, there's also that, but I'll deal with that later. And... I guess we move on to helping Apollo cross over through the portal. But we'll do that in the next episode for you.